Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, I gave yesterday the consent of the government of the Republic of Cyprus to the President of the Security Council for the extension of the mandate of ANFISIP. And I would like today to extend our appreciation to the members of the Security Council who voted in favor of the adoption of Resolution 1873, which extends the mandate of ANFISIP for a period of six more months. You all know the position of my government. It has been the same all along. We consider the presence of the United Nations peacekeeping force in Cyprus as indispensable as a conditio sine qua non as long as the occupation of part of the territory of the Republic of Cyprus by Turkey persists. Um, as far as this resolution is concerned, I'd like to make a, a few brief points. First of all, to express our appreciation over the fact that yet again, for another time, this resolution has confirmed and uh, has reiterated the agreed basis of the settlement of the question of Cyprus, which is the same agreed basis upon which the talks are being conducted between the leaders of the two communities in Cyprus under the good officer's mission of the Secretary General, and which is no other than a bisonal, bicommunal federation with political equality as set out in the relevant Security Council resolutions. Uh, my second point uh, pertains to the fact that this resolution recognizes the continuing, the ongoing violations of the military status quo as well as the restrictions imposed on Anfisip's movements by the Turkish occupation forces. And the last remark I'd like to make concerns the notion of the reviewing of ANFISIP's uh, operations in Cyprus and to note that this resolution stipulates clearly that any contingency plans to that effect could be affected only once a settlement has been found and is in place and that therefore the implementation of any such contingency plans or of any adjustments, if any, to the mandate or the operations of ANFISIP will concern the post-solution era or the period after the solution will have been found. Um, having said that, let me simply repeat that we remain fully engaged in the ongoing negotiations. Uh, cooperating fully with the Secretary General and with his representatives uh, and of course with the Security Council in our quest to uh, find a comprehensive settlement that would be in line of course with the Security Council resolutions and international law and legality and that of course will conform with the agreed basis of the talks. Thank you. Uh, process on, uh, I, I, you, you say that you are supporting the process which mm -hmm. is ongoing on the island and mm -hmm. they are uh, starting the second phase very soon. So do you see any good um, progress right now and what should be done more to, mm -hmm. uh, to accelerate the momentum in the talks as the Secretary Thank General you. says? I think the momentum is there and I think that the talks have been accelerated already and the councillors of, uh, of, uh, of the two leaders are meeting continuously and they're discussing issues. Um, there is some progress, not of course that kind of progress that could warrant today the end result that we all hope would be a solution to the Cyprus problem. But of course, as I have said, we remain in that progress and uh, we uh, put forward such proposals that take into consideration the interests of both communities in Cyprus, hoping that those will be accepted by the other side. So the reviewing involves only the post-solution uh, situation? It doesn't involve anything uh, prior to that? Well, let me explain our position on the reviewing. As you know, there is an occupation in Cyprus. There are 43,000 troops in Cyprus. 
the situation on the ground has not changed. The security concerns remain as intact today as they were before with the arrival of ANFISIP. We are in the middle of a process of talks. Therefore, there is nothing that could warrant at this moment attempting to change anything concerning the mandate or the operations of the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Cyprus. Of course, it is understandable if some people want to have some ideas from now beginning to contemplate on the eventuality of uh, a solution to the Cyprus problem. That is one thing, but the implementation of such plans or plannings or ideas cannot be affected unless a solution is found. And that is why I have expressed the fact that we're very pleased with this resolution because it simply connects, it, make, it makes the link between this uh, contingency planning and uh, the settlement to the Cyprus problem in a way that it is very clear that we can start thinking, that we can have some plans if you want, but the implementation of those plans cannot precede the solution of the Cyprus problem. It is clear that we do have to have the settlement in order to begin thinking what's going to happen with Anfisib in the post-solution.